You work mentally when you go on court every day and you don't complain when you play bad, when you have problems, when you have pains. You put the right attitude, the right face. You were not negative about all the issues that happen. If I am playing bad, if I have pre uh, physical problems, you go on court every day with the, with the passion to, to keep practicing. Spain, he is known as El Nino, meaning the child or little boy, because he looked destined for tennis greatness. He is nicknamed the Spanish Raging Bull because it captures his hustle and never give up attitude. He has earned the title of King of Clay because of his absolute dominance on that surface. Who are we referring to? Rafael Nadal. In this video, we will look at the Mallorcan's lifestyle, net worth, and beautiful wife. Number five, background and tennis career. Rafael Nadal Pereira was born on June 3, 1986 in Manacor, a town on the island of Mallorca in the Balearic Islands of Spain, to Ana Maria Pereira Feminias and Sebastian Nadal Omar. His father is a businessman and owns an insurance company and a glass and window company called Vidres Mallorca. He also owns a restaurant called Sapunta. Rafa had a love for sports in his DNA because his uncle, Miguel Angel Nadal, is a retired professional footballer that played for RCD Mallorca, FC Barcelona, and the Spanish national team. So from an early age, Rafa was blessed with the innate talent to play football and tennis. However, he decided to pursue tennis and started to play when he was only three years old. He was introduced to the sport by his uncle, Tony Nadal. Nadal showed he was tennis's next prodigy because he won an under 12 regional tennis championship as an eight year old. That was remarkable. Uncle Tony, seeing the promise shown by El Nino, began to intensify the training. Rafael is very, very strong. Game. Nadal was naturally right handed because he wrote with his right hand. However, he could also play left handed tennis with both a two handed forehand and backhand. So when Rafa turned 12, his uncle encouraged him to adopt a more conventional left handed style, which would be a competitive advantage over his opponent. So I was, uh, I was hoping he came back as a right-hander maybe. When Rafa turned 14, seeing the potential in the athlete, the Spanish Tennis Federation gave Rafael and his parents an ultimatum to leave Mallorca and move to Barcelona to continue his tennis training. Uncle Tony and his parents decided to reject the offer and stay home, which meant less financial support from the Federation. Nadal's father stepped up for his son in covering any shortfall so that Rafa could pursue his dream of climbing to the mountaintop of tennis. In 2001, Nadal decided to become a professional tennis player from the tender age of 15. He participated in two events on the ITF Junior Circuit without winning any title or making the finals. In 2002, Nadal opened the eyes of the tennis world by reaching the semifinals of the Junior Singles event at Wimbledon in his first ITF Junior event. He also helped Spain defeat the U.S. in the final of the Junior Davis Cup in his second and final appearance on the ITF Junior Circuit. In April of that year in his hometown of Mallorca and at 15 years and 10 months of age, Nadal won his first ATP match by defeating Ramon Delgado. In the process, he became the ninth player in the Open era to win before turning 16. In 2003, Nadal made his Wimbledon debut and became the youngest male to reach the third round since Boris Becker in 1984. He also won two challenger titles and ended the year ranked as the world number 49. His status in the game was growing because he won the ATP Newcomer of the Year award. After failing to advance beyond the third round in the Australian Open in 2004, Rafa missed most of the clay court season that included the French Open because of a stress fracture in his left ankle. In 2005, Rafa returned to action and dominated the spring clay court season. He won 24 consecutive single matches, breaking Andre Agassi's open era record of consecutive wins for a male teenager. He made history at Roland Garros in becoming the second male player after Mats Willander in 1982 to win the French Open on his first attempt. Nadal kept up his remarkable streak of winning three more French titles for four consecutive wins between 2005 to 2008. By this time, he had formed a natural rivalry with Roger Federer as the two best players in the era. In the 2008 Wimbledon final, the two play what is considered one of the greatest tennis matches ever. Nadal prevailed in the epic fifth set by winning 9-7 in the fifth set in near darkness for his first Wimbledon glory. In the summer, Rafa added an Olympic gold medal which adds to his resume as one of the world's best. 
In 2009, Nadal scalped his first Australian Open, but 2010 was his finest hour. In winning the French without dropping a set, winning Wimbledon and his first US Open to complete the career Grand Slam. That'll do it. In the decade between 2011 and 2021, Nadal has faced setbacks with injuries as he has gotten older, but his quest for greatness was realized by capturing 11 Grand Slam titles and a gold medal in that span. In 2022, at age 35, Nadal defied the odds and fathered time by coming back from two sets down against Daniil Medvedev to win the Australian Open and his 21st major title. It's the miracle in Melbourne. He has a case of being the greatest men's player because head-to-head -head overall against Federer and Novak Djokovic, Nadal has a combined overall record of 52-46 and 46 and a 20-11 and 11 record in Grand Slam events. Yes, greatness. Fun fact. Nadal is one superstitious dude. One thing he does is that he insists on lining up all his water bottles. Between each changeover, it's very noticeable in person and on television that he lines them up just right. Weird. It's just uh, kind of very stupid things that you, you do uh, after uh, a lot of years competing. Also, Nadal showed flashes of being an actor. He played Shakira's love interest in a music video for Gypsy off the album She Wolf. Nadal is friends with Shakira, her longtime boyfriend and professional soccer player, PK. Yeah. Who knew? Number four, earnings, sponsors, and net worth. According to ATPTour.com, Rafael Nadal has earned a staggering $127 million from his tennis career alone. It puts him third on the all-time money list behind his rivals Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic that are second and first respectively. One of El Nino's main sponsors is Kia. They are the second largest automobile manufacturer and he has been the global ambassador representing the entity since 2006. The American apparel company Nike also sponsors Nadal. Spanish biscuits and bakery manufacturers Cali also made him its international ambassador in 2010. Nadal sports a luxury watch from Richard Mille, which is part of their endorsement deal. Rafael Nadal's watch is one of the premier watches out there with a hefty $725,000 value. Holy smokes! His other endorsement partners are Santander, Emporio Armani, Babola, Heliocare, Telefonica, Banco Sabadell, Tommy Hilfiger, Mafre, Australia's Insure, The Go Insurance Company, and more. Yes, the list is so long we nearly ran out of breath. The lesson is that Rafa is a hot commodity and a marketer's dream. According to CelebrityNetWorth.com, Rafael Nadal is worth a minimum $220 million. That is a lot of zeros. Number three, investments and insane training regimen. As the year goes by, Rafael Nadal has matriculated from just being a tennis player to a businessman. Nadal has wisely invested his fortune. For instance, Rafa has teamed up with singer Enrique Iglesias and later soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo to invest in a Spanish restaurant chain, Tatel. The first restaurant opened in Madrid, followed by others in Ibiza, Miami, and Beverly Hills. So we are having a good success in, in Madrid, so we are now opening here in Miami. Rafa has also invested in a 19th century building in Madrid, which reportedly cost him nearly $30 million. The building will be converted into an elite residential property in the Spanish capital. In 2016, Nadal also established the Rafael Nadal Tennis Academy in his hometown. It will cost kids $62,000 to enroll at the academy and will provide meals, an education program, fitness center, wellness spa, and lots of tennis training on three different surfaces. It makes this a lucrative venture for Nadal. Rafa has beaten father time and enjoyed an illustrious career because of taking care of his body. It was not a coincidence that at age 35, the man could outlast a 26-year-old in a five-set thriller. Nadal has tremendous power, speed, agility, coordination, and endurance, which are all necessary for an elite and older player. His workout regimen involves first and foremost, stretching. Rafa stretches for up to an hour each morning and then again after practice. It helps get the blood flowing through the body and prevents jerks and injuries. Warm-ups also include a power plate, which is a vibrating platform that helps the muscles contract at high speeds. 
He also uses resistance bands and core body workouts, including standing sit-ups with resistance bands, push-ups, pull-ups, and a variety of medicine ball exercises. Rafa's workout is complete with weightlifting. Ugh, I'm tired imagining this workout. Rafa's entire diet is based on seafood. Breakfast may include fresh bread, olive oil, Iberian ham, and orange juice. Lunch typically is steamed fish, olives, and fresh veggies, while dinner may involve seafood paella, shrimp dumplings, and the occasional chocolate or cocktail. I have been going through uh, a lot of issues in my heat tennis career, so I, I need to be very flexible and uh, adapt. Number two, wild transportation and luxury mansions. Nadal is an avid car collector. As the face of Kia Motors, he is the proud owner of a Kia Stinger, the brand's high-powered sports car model. The tennis champion also owns an Aston Martin DBS, which was made popular by James Bond in the film Casino Royale. The car is estimated to be worth $314,000 in 2021. When he is not driving like Bond, Nadal zips around in his Ferrari 458 Italia, which HotCars.com has dubbed one of the best modern Ferraris. The price of the car starts at $239,000 and goes upwards of that with any modifications. Nadal is also a fan of Mercedes-Benz, as he has a convertible SL55 AMG Roadster and an AMG GTS in his car collection. We said transportation because in 2020, Nadal commissioned a customized 80-foot yacht from catamaran manufacturer Sunreef. According to Insider, the yacht contains a wet bar, the main deck saloon, guest cabins, and a luxurious owner's suite. Man, that sounds good. The yacht is docked right at his Mallorcan beachfront chalet. The property is estimated to be worth $4.3 million. The various buildings of the property are set on about 7,000 square miles of land and is located on the seafront. Nadal spent seven years reforming the property completely. In the course of this renovation, some parts of the buildings were pulled down. He also owns a luxury villa in the Dominican Republic, purchased at $2 million. Rafael Nadal's house is a two-story building with three bedrooms. It has a wide range of luxury amenities, including a golf course, a beach club, polo, fitness center, a private marina, and of course, a tennis court. Yes, living in luxury. Number one, philanthropy and gorgeous wife. In 2008, Nadal and his mother, Ana Maria Pereira, established the Fundacion Rafa Nadal, or the Rafael Nadal Foundation, which focuses on sport and education for disadvantaged children. At the outset of the COVID pandemic, the foundation pledged to support the Food Bank of Mallorca to help them in their quest to feed the hungry by collecting 3,000 kilograms of food to support 25,000 individuals in Mallorca. Nadal also joined hands with Pau Gasol to help raise upwards of 14 million euros to assist people suffering from the effects of the deadly virus. Rafa is married to the beautiful Maria Francisca Pereira. Like Nadal, Maria grew up in Mallorca. She started her career with a job in insurance. She later changed directions and joined with Nadal to manage the foundation. Reports suggest that the two met through family friends, but we know that they started dating in 2005 when Rafi won his first Grand Slam, the French Open title. Since then, the couple has kept their relationship a private affair. Finally, in May 2018, Rafa popped the question on a romantic trip to Rome. They got married in 2019 at La Fortaleza Castle in Mallorca, an event attended by around 350 guests. Rafael Nadal has lived out his dreams as a tennis star, businessman, philanthropist, living a luxury lifestyle, and having a beautiful wife by his side. Do you think Rafael Nadal is better than his rivals Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic? Will he win another Grand Slam in 2022? Let me know in the comment section, smash the like button, and subscribe to this channel for more premium sports-related content. Until next time.